Um, I stopped performing in 2005 because, do you want me to do it like that? Oh, am I not supposed to talk to you? Am I supposed to pretend you're not here? No. <laughs> Basically what happened was in 2004, 2005, somewhere around then, the Tigra went on this year and a half long worldwide tour and I got sick a lot. I'd just be miserable on the bus and then I'd have to get on stage and be like, hey everybody. Because nobody on stage, like people in the audience, they don't want to hear you're sick, they don't give a shit. I lost my voice and at soundcheck I lost pitch. So we canceled the show in North Carolina and I went back to New York and found a throat specialist and found out that I had huge vocal polyps on my, uh, my vocal cords. I probably had that on there getting bigger and bigger and bigger during all of Bikini Kill. Like I probably injured, made that, created that injury a long time ago. I let it rest, played a Pixie show two days later, finished that leg of the tour, um, and then I got the surgery and I had to relearn how to talk. I couldn't talk for two weeks, complete silence. Loved it, loved it. Then I had to go to speech therapy and relearn how to talk. And then I sat down with Joe and JD and said, I can't do this anymore. I decided that it was too stressful for me to play music for a while. I mean, I kind of felt like spent in terms of writing songs, like I felt like I'd said everything I had to say. You're on this weird like hamster treadmill and it starts to feel really not creative after a while. And you kind of have to have a life and have relationships if you're gonna have things to write about. Or else you start writing about like, I hate my label. Oh, it's so hard being in a band. And like, no one wants to listen to that. Should I, am I allowed to talk about that I wanted to get pregnant? Cause I just said personal reasons. Cause like I don't, cause then I have to be like, I feel like then it's like, I had a miscarriage and I, I did IVF and, and it's too much health stuff. It's boring. Nobody wants to hear about that. It's not just me like running a race. It's the whole entire crew has to be paid. The rest of the band has to be paid. Management has to be paid. You know, you don't want to um, get a reputation as a band that cancels shows because people won't book you. So I felt all of this enormous pressure on me and I also felt this really emotional thing of like, oh my God, I finally lost pitch. This is really scary. I think whether I would have been sick or not, at that point in my career, I needed a break. Like I needed a year off anyway. Irregardless, I needed a break. My illness had also taken a toll on my bandmates because it's not fun to be around somebody who is sick all the time. And it, it felt bad to be that person who was holding them back. I felt like I was holding them back. Um, and I had personal stuff I wanted to do. People who are running around being heroes act like they don't need help. That's the nature of being a hero, is you don't need help, you're the helper. I lied when I said I was done. I knew I wasn't done. I just didn't want to face the fact that I was really sick. I wanted to, ch I wanted to have control over it. I wanted to tell everybody I chose to stop. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't choose. I was told by my body I had to stop. Um, but that was really painful for me to be told by anybody or anything what I could and couldn't do. So I told myself and told my bandmates and told my husband and told the world that I chose to stop playing music because I had nothing else to say. Because that felt better to me than being in touch with the fact that I might not ever be able to do the thing I love more than anything in the world. And the worse the illness got, 
the more things just come into focus for me and I realize that singing is my life and I have to do it or I'm gonna go totally bananas. Thank God for fucking Beth Ditto. She's an amazing person and I was like, who better to hand the torch to? Do you know what I mean? And she really made me feel like I can leave if I want, but I don't have to. What's um, that melody? It's Kathleen's theme. It's my theme. It's very sad. No, it's happy. I used to be really worried that somehow I would become an asshole who was just like, you know, masturbating on stage style, like, you know, oh, I'm so awesome, whatever I do is cool. I could fart into a microphone and it'll be awesome. You don't have to keep pushing the envelope. Now you're, you've earned it where you can just be. And you know, if there's some people that don't like it, so maybe you lose a couple fans, but most fans will get it and be happy for her. I want her to be happy. I just want her to be happy. Okay. I'm super psyched to write music again. I'm super in love with my band. And I knew she wouldn't stop for, for too long, you know, it's um she had too much to say. That was us writing it, so it's not finished. <laughs>